Hey guys, I'm John. And I'm Lily. And in this video, we're going to find out how ace we think this, this is. is. So guys, in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to you about Howard the Duck 4K Blu-ray review. So, Howard the Duck, which is an old film, I know, but it's finally got a 4K remaster. And, oh man, I love Howard the Duck, so I thought, you know what, we need to get that. And... As I've sort of shared it with my kids, uh, Lily liked it more than anybody, so yeah. she's joining me on this video today, so we can talk about it, okay? So, How the Duck released in 1986, and it was actually the first Marvel film to ever get a proper cinematic release, which is an amazing thing, Do you know, it, it's such an obscure character to to think that would be the first to ever like be on the cinema. Um, and at the time, because Marvel was just a comic studio, they didn't really sort of make movies or anything. They'd done a few TV movies, so there was like a Captain America miniseries, there was a couple of Spider-Man films, and they had the Hulk, uh, an Incredible Hulk TV show, um, which featured a couple of characters, like Thor appeared in a couple of them. Um, but none of them were ever put on the big screen. So Howard the Duck was the first to do that. And it seems like a bit of a crazy choice because it was a character that not a lot of people knew. I knew when it released, um, I, I never knew it was a comic book character. So I was like five when it released and I watched it and I, I just enjoyed it as a kid for what it was. I'm not thinking it was a comic book movie, just thinking it was just this weird, crazy film about an alien duck. Because, you know, that's pretty much what it is. But yeah. Not knowing it was a comic book movie, you know, a five-year-old doesn't read. Based on the Marvel comics, I was just sat there watching, giggling it. <laughs> He's a duck. And that was about it, you know. <laughs> I was five. Um, and it's just one of them films that's always sort of been a childhood memory of mine. Um, and I know when it released, it got absolutely panned. So it got, like, some of the worst reviews ever. It was, like, always said to be one of the worst films ever released. It got so many bad reviews and it, there was nothing positive ever said about it. And for me, I don't know. I, I just love it. I, I'm absolutely... I just It's just an amazing film. It, it's so stupid and wild and I can't help but love it. And I, I don't know if it's childhood fondness that sort of makes it more than it maybe is. But even now, I mean, we watched it last night, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, and it's still amazing. And I still love it. And it's still so good. Um... And one of the things about it is it does say on the front of the box, I don't know if you guys can see that, but right there at the top, whether autofocus works or not, it does say George Lucas Presents. So obviously George Lucas, who's the daddy of Star Wars, um, he actually came up with the idea of making the Howard the Duck film. Um, which is really crazy, because, you know, it's Star Wars, man. Um, and he went to film school with the director of this which is Williard Hoyk and he sort of approached him George Lucas did and he's like I've been reading this comic called Howard the Duck we should so make a movie of it and the original plan was to make an animated film okay so it should have been an animated film but they said because it was a bit unknown and they didn't know whether people would like it or not the time and effort at the time in the 80s that it would cost to make an animated feature was um, higher <laughs> well, it would be more than that. Uh, but, like, it would be higher than um, what it would have been to make a live-action film. So, they opted to make it live-action, which, for me, I'm thankful for, because I, I think it's great. Um, and because George Lucas has involved his studio, which is Industrial Light and Magic, they came on to do all the special effects and whatever, and all the animatronics for Howard, because, obviously, it's like, it's a dude in a suit that walks around and the face moves and all that. Um but like the Muppets sort of thing and how like things like Labyrinth were and eventually like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie was. Um, things like that, they used that sort of similar sort of method for Make Howard Alive, in a sense. And for me, I think that's awesome uh, that George Lucas was behind it. And even though after the film released, it was, like I say, just critically panned and everybody hated it or whatever, George Lucas always stood by it and always said it'll become more over time. But people will appreciate it more as time goes on. And I think that's what's happened with ha with Howard the Duck. It's, it's become one of those cult films. One of them films that, like... Yes, most critics. And they're like, oh, it's crap. I don't like that film. And then you've got, like, this this group of fans, obviously us included, who were like, oh, my God, Howard the Duck's so good. And I can't recommend it enough as a movie. 
So, talking about the movie and the disc and everything else involved with it. So, the movie follows Howard, who is just an a duck. An alien duck from he is, an egg universe? Yeah, just, he lives say. in an egg planet. I can't tell you what the planet was. I'm not up on me Howard the Duck stuff. But he gets transported from his home world of Duck World. Um, and then gets brought back to Earth. So he gets brought back to Earth, to specifically Cleveland um, in America. And the thing that I love about it is when Howard's at home, there's all these like posters on the wall and pictures and all that. And there's all little references to so things like, that we love. Like, you know, like, like the Indiana Jones. Like, yeah, there's an Indiana Jones poster with uh, Indiana Drake, um, which is amazing. And obviously... Another Lucasfilm reference there because you know, um, and then there's all like these little things that are in there as well, and like he drinks like a beer, but instead of being a Budweiser, it's a the Birdweiser, Budweiser. Um, which is just I just like these little references. So how it gets pulled from his apartment in Duckworld, lands on Earth, and then sort of struggles to adjust because everybody just sort of. Picks on him. Yeah, they don't believe he do. They just no. think like, you know, hey man, it's not Halloween yet. You know, and they're like picking on him and stuff and beating him up and he, he really lands in a down and out sort of part of the city. Then he befriends this chick called Beverly, which he's played by the amazing Leah Thompson, which I love Leah Thompson, um, just because she's, you know, she's in Back to the Future, man. She's Marty's mum. Um, she's Lorraine in Back to the Future, but I just love her in Howard the Duck. She's just, she's so cool. And she's just acing it, and she's a highlight. And then we have the awesome Tim Robbins making his first big screen debut as well. Um, and everybody loves Tim Robbins; he's great. You know, he, he, you know, before he started here and then moved on to do like Oscar winning performances or whatever he did. You know, like in Shawshank and things like that. It's just incredible. But he's on like, he's just funny, and he is Phil. It's filthy. Yeah. He's just funny in it. He just like he's the comic relief, uh, but he's really good in it. And Jeff Jones, who is he's brilliant as the scientist, who then becomes like a bad guy in it. Gets taken over by this alien creature thing. The from overlords of the universe. Right. The dark overlords of the universe. From dun, dun, dun. universe. Um. So and everybody sort of really puts everything into the role, and it, it's just really really cool. Um. I just. Everybody's on top form and really gives it all, especially Jeff Jones. When he starts transforming, when he's taken over by this dark overlord and he starts changing his voice and like all the special <laughs> effects and everything. Oh, it's brilliant. He's like, we will come down and we will destroy you. Oh, man, he's brilliant. He's awesome. Um, and then obviously it's up to Howard to save the day because, you know, every duck's got the destiny. And and that's what he does. So he saves a day and then he's stranded on Earth because the device that pulled him and the Dark Overlords gets destroyed. So. And that's and then he's stuck here. Um and then he he's stuck with Beverly. Um now in the movie of the characters that are in it, the main ones of Howard and Beverly, they are actually from the comic and they play sort of similar roles. So Howard's the duck hero. And Beverly's his on-off girlfriend, and that sort of that foundation is laid in the film. And the way the film ends, there could have been a sequel, but obviously because it got panned, it never came true. Yeah. So maybe one day we'll see one. Because obviously, Howard the Duck's resurfaced in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, so he appears in both Guardians of the Galaxy movies, and he's in Avengers Endgame as well. Um, he's in a blink and you miss it sort of scene and runs through the portal. Um, and the good thing about the ones in Guardians is he's voiced by Seth Green. And Seth Green's amazing, and I love Seth Green. He's just awesome. <laughs> just throwing that out there, guys. So, moving on to the actual quality of the disc now. So, now we've sort of spoke on about nothing, All right, we'll talk about something. So, this film is, like I say, it's an old film. It didn't have a major budget. So, it's one of the films that it would be a bit hit and miss. I just wanted it to own it on 4K, because for just some reason just never owned it before. And the 4K disc is absolutely incredible on this, isn't it? Yeah. Now, the picture quality is just amazing. amazing. It really is. They've, they've really cleaned everything up. Everything is so sort of modernised, and they've really done a lot to it. So it, you, you put it on. Like I say, it's an old film. You 
put it on, but it looks like it's filmed with modern cameras. Yeah, it, it's like everything's just so good and so focused, and you can see all details. And I saw a lot more details in it this time watching it on the 4K than I've ever seen before. Even watching it on like it used to be on, I watched it on HD stream, and um, that's when we watched it one too. Yeah. Um. So we watched it in HD, but that wasn't anything compared to this 4K. This 4K was just amazing. It really is like they've done a full clean-up on it. It looks like they've done a new film. It does, yeah. It really is. Compared it's to really good. the last one, it looks so much different. Yeah, see, when we watched it on the HD, it really just looked like a bit of an upscaled sort of DVD version. Whereas this, it looks like they've done a lot of work and a lot of care and attention into making the film look the best that it possibly can. Yeah. And it really does. So when you see Howard in the, his suit and everything, all you can see all these feathers so clear and everything on it. And even sort of details in the background that I hadn't seen before, um, you see them so much more clearer. And even like when it's looking at the skylines and things like that, it, the cityscapes just look incredible. And I was really impressed with it overall. Um, just such an amazing film. Um, more so now it's on 4K. Um, it also helps with being on 4K that the HDR works with it. So when you first sort of Howard first arrives on Earth, there's a lot of dark scenes. It's at night time, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a lot of dark scenes. And the HDR really sort of helps lighten some of the areas up so you can see more clearly what's going on. Yeah. Rather than you sort of squinting, thinking, well, God, this is a dark film. It's not light at all. It sort of cleans everything up. And then when we go to the other side of it, when the daytime scenes, everything is so just clear and clean and bright and then because of that all the colors seem enhanced so like all the because howard wears a lot of funky clothes man yeah a lot, a lot of funky yeah clothes. He, he does <laughs> but it's, the colors on his clothes seem to be a lot clearer and the, the color contrast and, and the gradient on it is just so much more vibrant um in the 4k than i've ever remembered seeing it before it seems like I don't know, like it'll completely the colour palette from what I imagine the Blu-ray would have been to um, what the 4K is in it is absolutely incredible. Now this does come with a Blu-ray, so obviously you get your slipcase on everything. It's the same cover on the inside, which is a bit of a shame. And then you do inside get the 4K, and you also get a Blu-ray. Um, and it, it is nice that they've actually added the Marvel logo onto it now. And you know, it, it was one of them films that maybe. Marvel are now accepting Howard the Duck as more of a, a mainstream film, and that's why it's got this 4K release. Um, so I haven't watched the Blu-ray because we just went for the 4K, but from what I remember the last time I watched it, which wasn't too long ago, um, the, honestly, the colour var variation is, is, is just incredible compared into it. It's like, honestly, like, it's like watching an SD compared to like this. Um rather than watching the HD, it just doesn't compare to how clean and clear everything is in this film. It is absolutely amazing. I was so impressed with it. It's like watching something that takes a day to like conform and edit it and then compare to something that does for like a month or something like that. Yeah, there's a lot of work gone into it and it does look really good. Now, on the audio side of it, now, unfortunately, there isn't an Atmos track on here, so they haven't really put a new track on there for the audio side on it it is just the standard dolby track which is there but the audio is really good in it uh, everything's really well balanced in it um so when everybody's talking you can hear it all clearly it is really good like uh, compared to when there's lots of sound effects and things going on um it is very well balanced that you can hear anything and like obviously you turn it up and it's got such a cool 80s track to it as well so the soundtrack in is awesome um, it is just so good, the music. And, yeah. The music, yeah, it's yes. really good in it. It's brilliant. And then when you get to the end, and we've got the Howard the Duck theme song. Oh man, you just you'll I tell you what, you'll hear it and you'll hum it for days because that's what it'll we get do. Stuck inside it does, your head. It? It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. But so yeah, it is just an amazing track, and the audio is really well good. Now, one thing to note, and one thing I was really worried about. So when it gets to the final battle in the movie and you have the showdown between Howard the Duck and the Dark Overlord in his true form and it looks a bit like a big scorpion -y, alien -y, something out yeah. of Star Wars thing pretty much um, it was all stop motion 
and it is done because that, that was how things were done back then you know what i mean they didn't have like the, the modern technology they do now to do all the cgi and that there is some cgi in it and i was really worried before we got to that point that the rest of the film looked amazing amazing yeah it looked like so good and then the monster thing was just i was hoping like i was expecting the monster thing to look really out of place and all that and, Bad and stuff. yeah but you know what it didn't it wasn't it looked really good it, they, they really scrubbed the special effects up on it and because they're old special effects as well but they've really scrubbed it up as well so everything sort of balances well it's got them old sort of special effects they're a bit like sort of the proton packs out of Ghostbusters. Look at that, don't you? When, yeah. when like he, he's sort of firing like energy bolts or whatever, but it looks really good. And there were other little things in special effects I hadn't seen before. So like, when sort of the monster's still inside Doctor Jennings, there were certain like effects that were coming off his body as like little specks flying off that I, I can't remember seeing before. And I was like, I was like, oh. So they've added yeah, well, new things added. into it. It's more that because they've enhanced the sort of the color of it and 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 like the quality of the movie. You can see these things now. They aren't sort of blurred out or anything because it's so clean. And it was just really nice. It was sort of like watching it with like fresh eyes sort of thing. And I was just generally, honestly, I'm really impressed with this disc. For for a remaster disc, I mean, it's not like, because it's an old film, it's not like the best 4K disc I've ever seen. It's not something I would say was reference quality. But for the enhancements they've done on it, oh my God. God, it's amazing. It is so good. I was really impressed because, like, watching it... Like I say, it wasn't that long ago we watched it no. um, on TV. And watching it now is like... Oh, man, it's like a whole new thing, man. It blows your mind. It does, don't it? Yeah. It's so, so good. And honestly, if you're a fan of Howard the Duck, and there's not many of us out there, but we are, Howard the Duck's amazing. And when I said I was going to get Howard the Duck, Lily was like, Dad, I need to do that video with you. I was like, that's fine, that's fine. We've got to share the love for Howard. Howard's amazing. He needs to be the world to love him again. And it is just incredible. And if you did like it, then this 4K disc is the only way that you need to watch it. It is such an incredible movie. and It's an amazing step up to it. It is. It is. Honestly, I can't tell you how good... It is, compared to what was. It is just... oh, Dude, it's amazing. It is like, oh, it's so ace. So, yeah, guys. That's our review of How to Duck. We loved it. We were just blown away by it, watching it again. And not just because it's a cool film, but the 4K on it. 4K is just incredible. It is so good. I mean, like, oh, it's so ace. So is. I mean, if I didn't like Howard the Duck, then this 4K would have pushed me to like it. Because it's that good. But she does love it. So I do. She does love it. Um, so there you go, guys. That's what we think of Howard the Duck. Now, I bought this from Amazon. Um, if you do want to buy it, I will leave a link at the bottom so you guys can purchase it. Just know that if you do click through, it helps me out. So it's greatly appreciated, guys. If you enjoyed this video, drop me a like. Subscribe to the channel for more age content. Follow me on Instagram for updates. And with that, guys, we'll catch, catch you later. later.